Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, big week this week. We've got a lot going on. We've got uh, a truck to get situated, ready for paint. But first, we got to tear it down. We've got to uh, do some countersink bolts. I'm gonna show you guys how to how to do that. How how at least I do it. Um, got a lot of things fit this last week. We've got deck plates on. Uh, we fit the front bumper, the bumper flip kit, the taillight bar, like I said, all the deck plates, the shock box cover. I'm going to tell you, fit all that stuff before you paint it because you're going to appreciate it that much more when it's when it's put together and it's it's not all scratched or you've got fresh, fresh uh, I guess, fresh metal paint scratched off from drilling holes, doing this, doing that, sliding it around. It's a lot easier if you could just paint it, put it up, bolt it up, it's done. So uh, just if I could help you guys out there, do that. And then uh, what else we got going on this week? We're going to strip it. That's going to be a big job. Yeah. That's going to be a big job. I think we'll, um, yeah, get the, get in the bunk off and start prepping for body work, right? Yeah. Yep. We're yep. actually going to, you're going to see it hopefully in this video move to where it belongs to. Yeah. Yep. That's our goal. Yep. I, we, yep. It's going to happen whether we want it to or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's, it's going to be a cab sitting on a frame. Fuel tanks will be off. Wheels will be off. Hashtag gold. Right? We hashtag and stuff? Well, we're going to have to because that's, it's okay. a big job. But I don't think you could do that on YouTube. Yeah, but you Because you can't write it down. You can't see it. You have to say okay. it. It's not the same thing. All right. Well, whatever. Maybe? Sure. Okay. All right. Let's see. Are you going to um, fill the holes in this video, the the hidden weld, welding holes or bolt holes? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to okay. show you guys Good. how to do Good. some Good. So we'll get through that whole process this one. Good yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're going to do that. And I think the next video, we're going to do a little body work and some paint. Make it look like something. Does that mean we have to sand? And scuff. Yeah, pretty much your I'm favorite on. thing to do. You probably won't see me much in this video. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's see what you can do. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I wonder what you're doing. Okay. All right. Deck plates are out. Rear one's done. But we unbolted this so we could get out a few things. But just wanted to show you how to do these countersink bolts. Basically, this is a style bolt. You need to zoom in, Alex? No, you're good. Okay. This is what was in it. Just a regular flat bolt. But when you take these out, save them. Because you never know where you're going to need one. So, take your pan. So you don't make a mess. I got a mag drill with a countersink bit right here. This is kind of what it looks like. That's what the professionals use, so figured get something. So once I put this up there, it's a mag drill. I'll flip this switch and it'll stick hopefully to that. We just drill the hole far enough. We got to use plenty, plenty, plenty of some sort of cutting oil, lubricant, anything. So, here we go. Get it close, lined up where you think it's going to be. Flip your switch. It just stuck to it. So, we're going to turn it on. All right, 
so it's drilled. We'll take this off, kind of show you, put everything into the pan, saves on the mess. But what you got here is a countersunk hole. So then, now you see what I mean. Stick that in there. It's going to be below your surface here. So if you run a straight edge from here to here, it's below it. It'll look like this once it's tight. All these. So you'll take and you'll weld these in. Fill all this. Grind it off smooth. You'll have no bolts. So we've got four here left to do. We'll get those done and uh, we should be getting closer to uh, being done with fabrication. We've got a couple holes to weld shut. These bolts were where the, the original fuel tank brackets were. We've got to fill those. Those we're not even using. So, so you it doesn't just weld pay them. to have a bolt in the frame if you're not going to use it. Just weld them shut? Weld them shut. Cool. Yeah. So that's that. That's uh, what we're doing today. Sounds good. All right. All right, guys, yesterday was a busy day here. We got a lot accomplished. You can probably see mm -hmm. just from behind us a little bit. So you ready for more today? Oh, today is a new day. Yeah. Take us around, Chad. Show us uh, where we're at and what's next. Okay. All right. All right. So we got the hood off. We got boxes off, sleepers off, fenders, wheels, deck plates. Pretty much stripped. We gotta uh, yank the tanks off first before we paint. But um, the driver's side, excuse me, the driver's side actually doesn't sit level. Um, the back end of it, the back end of it's got to go down, and the front end of it's got to go up, so we can get the geometry right, so it looks right sitting on a truck. That's a nice seat you have. Yeah. Oh. So we got the seat, custom. Fancy. With a cup holder for the long trips. But anyways, uh, today we're going to, uh, after the tanks are done, we've got all these. Got to take these holes out. These aren't being used, so we're going to weld them up. We're going to actually weld these countersink bolts up, and I'm going to show you how to do that, or at least how I would do it. Because I don't think there's a video on, on any anywhere showing what to do. So uh, I'll get some of that together for, for everyone. And then uh, obviously we're going to strip it the rest of the way and, and start doing some body work. So what are all these lines for those that don't know or haven't done this crazy stuff like us? So you've got air conditioning lines that go to your bunk. This is the air conditioning drain. And these are your antifreeze lines. You're in and you're out. Um, note to self, I always put a 5 8 bolt in here and then clamp it. That kind of leaves everything to where it doesn't drip all over on you. You can just leave it and uh, it's, it's clamped as if it would be on the sleeper. So a hmm. 5 8 bolt actually works really well in there. Cool. But we'll cap these. We don't want anything getting in there. I've got plugs for that, JIC fittings. Take this off. We're actually replacing this tank with a different fuel tank. That tank and that other tank, we both got to get to Evans. Got to get the rims and the tires dismounted. We can get them to Evans. He's already got the fifth wheel. So we can get all that stuff kind of ready for him and get it jacked up in the air and, and maybe get some paint on it by the weekend. It's going to take a little bit, but we'll see. 
Hopefully. All right. All right. Let's get to work. You okay. got a lot to do. So I just wanted to show you guys what we got going on here. Countersink. We got to weld them up. They're going to look like that. You want to get a little beef on there because you're going to grind it smooth. Now, if we come over to the other side, I'll show you. I have the other side done. Basically, it's all ground off. We are going to use, here's what I use, just a flapper disc. These are going to be your best friend. You're going to grind it off. You're going to want to hold it straight. Go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. You're not going to want to all go the same way the whole time. Kind of do every direction and get it flat. You're not going to want to gouge it. You're going to want to hold it flat as it as it grinds. You're going to get a lot better surface. And I can feather this edge out, body work this. You'll never see it. So that's uh, that's kind of what we're trying to accomplish here. I've got to get the other side done. This side is completely done, ready for body work. But as soon as we get that side done, we can get going on that. All right, Chad. What? Do you want to share with them? We finally got the shop clean. Shop's, shop's clean. We, uh, we got the truck situated. We're going to be painting it. Is this the truck that blew up a couple days ago? Yeah. Parts everywhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now we got parts organized. I feel better. We got the whole floor cleaned yesterday. Thank you. And, yeah, that's uh, a lot of work. We had a oily mess over in Bay 3, so we had to clean that up. You can't paint with oil everywhere and, and greases and, and the, the smell in the air. That that just, that's bad, really bad. So, uh, we got the curtain pulled. We're uh, kind of setting up our remote paint booth, I guess. Something like that, yeah. we're going to call it. Oh, and... Um, we better get this thing painted because... We haven't shared with anybody, buddy, but we do have a wedding in here in a couple of months. Yeah, well, a couple of months. It's well, like six. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna take us a couple months to yeah. bring her back around from keep building the, shop the truck. Clean because we got <clears throat> we got family. Excuse me, uh, family that likes to have weddings here. So sure, whatever keeps me uh, keeps me in line and keeps the walls clean. We. We try not to make too much of a mess, but I'll tell you what, when you paint in a shop, it ruins a lot. Yeah. So we're trying to do our best here. Um, well, let's show them, let's yeah. show them the truck. Should we go around this way? Yeah. 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 We, we got, got a few pieces. You can <clears throat> see we stripped it all down in this video. It's been, it's been a good full week. Yep. We got everything on blocks and pallet jacks. We can kind of move everything around. We've got about four of these pallet jacks, and they, they work good for just moving things. There's the seat. Got future projects sitting over here. Yeah, okay. And uh, toolboxes all over. Um, we've got a pretty cool paint setup. Ordered this about a year ago. Yep. We're doing Ryan's truck. Just, it runs, it's a wash bay curtain setup. It runs on a track up above, and we could just move it out of the way if we don't need it so but we can show you the truck i guess um so here she is huh yeah yeah this is the truck this is uh what a shame brand new peterbilt <laughs> brand new peterbilt you know this is kind of the way we've always done it though you know my last brand new one I had, it wasn't home two hours and I had to bunk off because I just, I, I, I'm picky. I wasn't satisfied. So we've got air cleaners, 
mirrors, all that stuff to take off yet, but we'll tape the cab off, tape the engine off, and we can just shoot the whole thing purple. And cool. uh, not have to worry about overspray everywhere like we did on Ryan's truck. So we left a sleeper on that, but he had a little bit bigger sleeper. and We didn't have the time we got now, so we, uh, try, we're trying to do this one the easy way. There Let's you go. Just put it that way. That's crooked. <laughs> well, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, appreciate you coming along. And, you know, next time you can come and help us. Yeah. Teardown's yep. always scary. I hate when the sleeper's in the air. Yeah, you kind of freak out. I do. And I actually screwed up and I told her I wasn't taking it off. And she come out and she sleeper's was, coming off. So, uh, she was not too impressed for a That turned bit. into a husband-wife dispute. <laughs> I guess. But we <laughs> we started, it came around after you left the jack underneath of it trying to drive away. Oh, I'll yeah, just throw yeah. you under the bus on yeah, that Yeah, yeah. You can't move the truck when you got the <laughs> tires jacked up yet. It just doesn't work. It's too bad we didn't have the video on at that time. But yeah. it was a time lapse and uh, you couldn't see it. But yes, it happens. Yeah, but <laughs> we're just going to move on. Yeah, but right? we're not going to let you forget it. Oh, okay. Kenny was here to witness that one. We're gonna yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, but everybody's got a bad day once in a while. Yeah, you did. All right. Well, well, I that's guess... it again for this video. Um, yeah. What do you got to do? Like, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Well, we are. Did you see? We're over a thousand subscribers now. Are we really? Yeah, we are. We are. So wow. That's we're gonna cool. have to Thank do you. something, something cool. Maybe in the future, maybe some giveaways to get some some more subscribers. Yeah, we could do that. Some apparel or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we could we could talk about that and come up with something. Yeah. It well, looks like we have some monkeys in our background right now. Yeah, cats mm. climb on everything. They're going to help them paint, too. It's going to be fun. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> All anyway, right. Well, you guys like, know what to do. Uh, Facebook, Barry Trucking, uh, com. Everything on there you need. Uh, you need to get a hold of us. There's there's contact information or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, <clears throat> like I said, we're always here to answer questions, help everybody out. I I get messages daily. Uh, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I try to get as much of these out here as I can for you guys uh, with the time we have. But you know, don't don't be afraid to to send me a message. I, I I'm always always here to help. So I, I, I had to find this stuff out myself and, and it, it took me some time. And, and if I can make it easier on somebody else, that's, mm -hmm. that's what we do here. So, uh, feel free to message. Um, I guess I, I, I don't always look at it, but I can try and get back to you as soon as I can. So I, I, I appreciate everything and, uh, I guess that's it. All right. Sounds okay. good. Well, we're going to get to body work and painting. and Yeah, we got work to do. We got work to do because we're leaving for Louisville in a week. And this yep. thing's not going with no, us. No, we're not going. We're not going. <laughs> I, I had enough stupid deadlines in my life, and I know better than to do that. Nope. Uh -uh. We'll let everybody else do, do it, that. and we'll just enjoy the time. Sounds good. Well, thanks again. Take care. Yep. Thank you.